Hi, this is Ken Albertson. I'm here in Hawaii, and I want to make a mention of the war on drugs. I've spoken about this before, and I've got some uh, new information, new for me, online. They talk about uh, ketamine and yaba, drugs I've known about, but the problem's getting even worse in Southeast Asia in particular. Uh, I'm more concerned about Southeast Asia because I, I resided there for over 20 years until recently. Now, um, just for whatever it's worth, uh, I don't do drugs myself, so this is not a personal campaign. Um, I don't even do alcohol or smoke pot or anything, pharma drugs, nothing. But the the problem should be... Uh, the government and the authorities are making it a problem as much as anybody else. Same with America's DEA. Instead of trying to wipe out all of every little problem, for example, some kid comes out of a nightclub with a, a half a pill of speed in his pocket and gets thrown in prison for almost 20 years. I'm not making this up. This is, this is a, this is one of many cases like this. And every person that's busted, their families are also adversely affected. So uh, I compare it, for example, to the uh, problem with uh, wildfires in uh, California. For decades, the, the Forest Service is trying to put out every little fire it can. But now they're finding that letting fires burn sometimes is a better overall strategy for the forest. And similarly, letting letting some of the drugs uh, run their course, okay, people do them, they go to discotheques, they do them to work longer hours, miners do it to work in mines, um, uh, students do it to study for exams. So the majority of times when these drugs are being used, they're not being used in a harmful way. People aren't going out and beating their wives and uh, uh, driving their cars erratically and plowing into people. Those are the kind of things that happen with alcohol drinking, by the way. Alcohol is many times more harmful and even deadly than these drugs we're talking about. So the message I'm trying, I'm putting forth here is to say let let things happen and deal with problems as they come up. For example... Uh, on a social, uh, social workers can deal with mental problems. That's what they're, uh, uh, that's what they're educated to do and paid to do. Um, big drug dealers, yeah, okay, we can bust them. Although the one of the main reasons big drug dealers are 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 such a big problem for the establishment is because they compete with alcohol dealers and pharma drug dealers. Obviously, uh, those those two uh, entities don't want any competition. So they even even uh, street drugs are a competition for them. So that's why they've got the authorities behind them. Now, when we hear about problems with um, with with uh, speed and other amphetamine, yaba, we always hear about the worst case scenarios. And yeah, there are some very bad things that happen using those drugs. But um, for the most part, the people that are doing those drugs are just doing them for kicks, just to try to stay stay from being depressed. In fact, ketamine is is uh, prescribed uh, for an, as an antidepressant drug by hospitals and doctors. So... I'm not saying uh, illegal drugs are good. I'm just saying they have to be dealt with in a reasonable way, and it won't be as big a problem if if there if there's less criminalization. Even a hardcore right winger like uh, Buckley uh, would say the same thing or similar. He would say that drugs need to be decriminalized, and then. Authorities and family members and whatever can deal with these problems on a more humane level. Okay, that's mainly what I wanted to say right now. I'll sign off in a moment, but I wanted to mention 
my website, adventureone.com, that's the word adventure with a numeral one, uh, has a lot of books that I've written, close to 20. Uh, most of them are on uh, non-weighty topics, not, not like uh, what I've just been talking about, but on some of them are history, some of them are religion, some of them are even humor. So go and check out the selection there. And uh, if there's a particular book you like, let me know, and I'll uh, send you a review copy. If you just tell me, uh, you'll do a review on Amazon or something like that. Okay, I'm going to sign off now. Take care.